Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another System Design in Go video. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to interact with gRPC services using Postman. As usual, the link to the code is in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. The goal of this video is to show you how you can interact with RPC services using Postman. We're going to be reusing what we built before, which includes the four types of RPC, the unary RPC that we implemented right here with the user service, as well as the three RPCs that are defined for using and uh, when you're using a streaming, which are defined in this case right here, all of these three. So what do we need? We need to download Postman. And more importantly, as after you download Postman, you will have to create an account. This is required because you need to create a workspace to define the gRPC API that you're going to be connecting to. If you don't have an account or you are not logged in, you will present it with this message that says, uh, log in or create an account. So that's something that you have to do. After you sign in with your account, you will be able to jump into your workspace. Like for example, I have right here one called gRPC and we'll be able to call new to create a new gRPC. Now, if you click this one, uh, there are a few ways to define or add your definitions into the RPC uh, user interface. One of them will be to specify the URL and the other one will actually upload the protocol for uh, protocol buffers files directly into Postman. So let's use the first one, which will be uh, importing one from a URL. And in this case, what we're going to be using is the URL that is coming from GitHub. So we have, let's say, a wearable, wearable service product. We jump into raw, which is right here. And then we just click it and we copy this URL. We go back to our Postman and we do next. We name it, let's call it wearable API. We call it create new API and V1. V1 and import as API. Now, what this is doing is taking the protocol buffer file and importing it as the as the services that we define right there. Now, if you notice right here, you will see that all of them are listed. So we have the different the three RPCs that we define, the three streaming RPCs. But more importantly, if you hover a little bit, you will notice that there is a pop-up that indicates what type of streaming that is. This is server streaming, this is client streaming, and this is bi-directional streaming. Now we need to run our server, obviously, to make it work. So if we run our server, we can actually go back to the protocol buffer, to Postman rather, and select a method, which in this case, let's just take a server streaming RPC, and we can invoke it. And what it's going to be doing is, if you notice all the way down here, you will see that we have a bunch of different results that are coming from the server. This is important because we are testing the server streaming RPC. Now we can cancel it and we, that's the way to stop it getting a request from the server. Similarly, if we go and take the consume bits RPC, we can take that one and generate a message example, send it to the server and then we return back the values to us. Now, what about the user server RPC that we defined previously? Well, in order to add that one, we're going to be going to new as well again. We are going to be creating another one, a new uh, uh, request using gRPC. And similar to what we did before, we're going to be adding a new service definition. But in this case, instead of using the URL, we're going to be specifying the protocol buffer. The reason being is that if you remember in our previous implementation in the user server, we're actually using the import statement to reuse the type that we defined previously. When you're using the URL method in Postman, that doesn't work because it cannot add multiple URLs, in this case, to refer to the type that we had before. So if you notice right here, this is our type. If we go back to the service, you will notice that we are importing it. And you may need, you will remember all of this because we did this previously um, before. So we have this specific file that is important the user.pro file. This doesn't work in Postman when you're using the URL. Therefore, we need to import the files manually, literally upload the files. So what we have to do there is import the user service protocol buffers that we have right here. And we add an import path. And if you remember the way we have it 
in here is that it's referring to it's important from the root that's how we define it previously so if we go back again go back to to our postman what we're going to be defining is the root of the project so we can access user if you want and therefore user proto we open and then we click next and with that we need let's name it they call it user api create new one v1 v1 and import as api now with that if you notice you will see that now we have two different apis right here one for user and one for wearable user is the one using the local files and wearable is the one using the external http url that we imported either way it works so if we go back to the to actually using that rpc we can specify the same local host 9879 that we used before we can use the method that we defined for getting the user and we jump to this message tab generate an example and just type something invoke and this is just typical unary request as implemented in the past now what is another way to do this well there is a thing called reflection that allows you to not necessarily import or specify the protocol buffers directly but rather pull those values from the server itself let me show you how we can do that in order to use reflection we need to update our server to enable re reflection itself for doing that we're going to be opening the server uh, we're going to be importing a package called uh, we will, this this is the client it should be opening that it should be the server itself we're going to be importing a package called golang all right google golang.org grpc and then reflection what this reflection package includes it's a way to expose all the grpc services that are attached to the service itself so what we have to do now is scroll down a little bit and down here we call reflection register and we pass in the service that we are using which in this case will be grpc server erpc server there you go with this we just run the server again and we go back to postman in postman we do something similar we go to new we go to the grpc request beta option in this case we're going to be adding a new definition uh, that if you notice right here it says use server reflection enter server url to load the methods so literally we don't have to import anything we just have to go and do the local host and you will see something now it includes all the services that defined before one important thing to notice right here with this one is that the health service is included automatically because it's part of the the rpc a definition that is attached to our server so there is no we, we couldn't we weren't able to do that before and again if we go and do a check with a specific message and we use our user v1 user service that is doing the health check for this specific service itself you will notice that it's serving i mean we can add some random value right here and you will ex expect the values that indicate the value does not exist which in this case will be right here now this is really cool because now you can if your server allows reflection you can actually input that url in postman and that will give you all the values without having to specifically indicate their url of the protocol buffer or the files themselves uploading the files that is so let's jump into the conclusions and i will talk to you in a few seconds and this is how you interact with grpc services using postman like i show you you can use the actual protocol buffers you can upload those directly a url where the protocol buffer is defined or if your server allows it you can use reflection to pull the services and their methods from the server itself i hope all of this was useful for you i will talk to you next time take care and stay safe see you